Dig in, Sam. Always. Have a look at this rubbish, man. Look at that. Look at that. They're new. New? Yeah, oh, not long. Look at that. Jesus. So anyway, so someone told me some bloke in Sydney, some engine builder. Builder. Not a machinist, builder. Let's put this motor together. Charged with twenty thousand dollars. And now we've got Chinese rubbish. This is it. Chinese rubbish. So don't don't buy it. Stay to people. <laughs> buy proper stuff. Is it, you know what's gonna go? Watch, 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 watch in the, in the bin. You know what we're gonna do today, man? What are we doing? What's this? Uh, it looks a lot like a 308. Yeah, but it hasn't got 308 written on it, has it? Nope. The other side? No. no. It's actually a VR engine. Now, Ooh. hold hold it. After 94. Mm-hmm. HSV decided to put um, 355 stroker engines, 5.7 litres they called them, in their HSV range. So what Holden did and Harrop, they decided to make a different style of block. Now this is what they call a genuine stroker block, but they use three or four cranks in them. So they only just cast one thing. So I don't have to sit there and cut this one out. Have a look at this. Have a look at this. This is already cast. See that cast mark there where the Conrad misses? Yep. And on the bottom of the ball, so you don't have to relieve this. I don't have to relieve this. This is a beauty of it. I actually got another one down there, a block. I can show the difference. Really want to see the difference at all? I think we've done, we've done it a before. few videos on yeah, this. Yeah, I think so. I'm not going to show anybody. But this is actually a genuine, what they call a, a stroker block. But they put them in everything, you know what I mean? So yeah. GMH is not going to sit there cast a specific, just cast a hundred <laughs> stroker blocks and... And the rest of them, the rest of the six hundred thousand we're doing, normal. They get you to cast a whole lot in one here. It made no difference to them. So that's I'm going to put this together. Show you how we put a stroke. What I'm going to use is something a little bit different. A D bowl piston. Larry Perkins, uh, a company called ACL. They used to do Repco pistons and stuff. They made a race piston. And they made it like that. A bowl. If, uh, instead of using a shift, this is actually a proper Holden V8 style piston. Beautiful. Ceramic coated. Teflon on the skirts. It uses the Holden genuine rod. We're using a spike rod, what they call it. The spike? Yep. And uh, made by TRW, believe it or not. Let's have a look at it. Somewhere here. TRW. TR. You can just see it. TRW. Can you see it? Mm. It's hard to see. Right there, yeah. right there. Yeah, so we're going to use them. Take your word for it. Yeah, they run a 916 headed bolt, which is 3 8 thick stuff. Beautiful. So let's put it together. What I'm going to do, we're going to throw a scat knife edge crank in it, which is already balanced. I'm not going to sit there show you on the balancing because it's pretty boring. And uh, let's go, let's go for it. We're going to run the German timing chain kit, which is good. We'll never take the crank. I haven't actually dry fitted this, so we're going, I've measured everything, but I'm pretty confident we're doing, aren't we? This is the third stage, and we're doing it. Why am I leaving that with? For the oil pickup. Yes, exactly. <laughs> My favourite part. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, yeah. You like this a bit I too much. It, I love it, yeah, it's really good. <laughs> it feels so smooth in the ball, you know? <laughs> nice. Okay. Half inch nut on them 
This has got the bigger nuts. Yep. They're not 35 foot pounds anymore. We're going to change it to 45. So we're going to do these to the factory specs. Remember how many linkages it was? Uh, like 11 or 12, something like that. Come on, man. What am I teaching? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, uh, no. <laughs> Nine. That's what we are at. <laughs> <laughs> that was wrong. Okay. Let's find this up. See if these rods are going to hit. And they are definitely going to hit. So we've got a problem here, haven't we? Yep. Off with the head. What do you think, Sam? Much better. How yeah, good is that, huh? Brilliant. Just chop them off, they don't, not a big deal. Yeah, that's tight, that's tight, that's tight. We're going to tension this up. What did I say they were? 70. 74 pounds, that's it. Oh yeah! That's it. Now, what have we got next? Let me cover. Let me cover gasket. I'm not going to put the seal now. I'm going to show you this, a way of putting the seal in with the cover on it. So if you ever get a timing cover that leaks, we're going to work it out how you can do it on the car instead of banging it. We're going to put some uh, Permatex number 3 aviation. Try not to put silicon. Uh, we've got that gasless one precision. Mm. Okay, easy to pop in. We've got low cutting dials. You can't go wrong. Okay. Where is it? Where'd you put it? Here we go. Okay, there it is. I'm going to get my trusty hammer. I'm going to put it on. A little bit of um, lubricant for the seal. You can put a little bit around here just to help it slide in. Not too much. I'll put a little bit too much on that anyway. And this is how I do it. Say you're in the car and the timing cover, you're going to try to change it. Hold it one side. Easy. See that? You don't have to block the steel or wood, whatever they use to do it. Pretty easy. I'm gonna put a little little bit of a bit of silicon there. Not too much. Just to help it. They don't make caskets as they used to. Yeah, this is good. People make mistakes on these. Yeah, there's, a, there's a direction. No, no, it's pretty. They look the same either way, so it's pretty, pretty close. But this is all pickup side. Check this out. See the, see the, see the gaskets curved. Yep. That part there. To go around the. Yes. If I put this one on, you can still put it on, believe it or not. But it's sort of not, not right. You know what I mean? You see, the, see it's different there? So sort of pushing up against it. Yeah. I'm going to put this in. The, the back one, it's got the divots like that. That's the front one, that's the back one. But you see this? You see? Look at that. You see, we've got a gap there. We're going to fill it. Yeah, okay. Yeah, always, right? always. They're not. They're not. When they help it. I'm sick of oil it's man for a little piecey put them dry yeah 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 no worries let me get the I think it's a 10 mil we need we're gonna do the oil pump okay washer remember how I put that in last time yeah and I like turned it in I think I yeah, remember we're gonna find the notch yeah there it is. Notch. See the notch there? Yep. The opposite side. You see that? Male and female in. Yeah, so we're going to put it in. We're going to twist it till it goes in. Well, we've got it. We're going to get it to position. Pop it. Yeah, that's it. And here's our pump done. Okay, I'll pop the lifters in.
Man, these have been pre-soaked, haven't they? Be? Oh, ah, that just does nothing for me. So what do you mean? I wet them. The yeah, outside's wet with oil. Stop it from um. Does nothing. I'll put zinc. I'll put zinc on them. Whatever. So this one here. It's not going to be stored, it's going to get thrown straight into a, a car and off it goes. Just going to have a little bit there to stop the bubbles from the, the water coming up. You know something on the head gasket, Sam? What's that? Red motor, the fire engines, a whole lot. The bottles are missing here. See that? What is that? Hmm? They discard those bolts in the end. They didn't need them. Hmm. They were useless in the first place anyway. What well, they said, so. They were those yeah. ones at 55. Yes, that, yeah. yes, exactly. Now, these are factory big valve heads. It's a pretty simple job on them. We put a, a heavy duty valve spring in them. They can take the lift of the spring, about 110 pounds. Perfect. Basically the same as a red motor. I live with four bolts. Oh, you know what's good about these heads? What's that? Uh, exhaust, 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 exhaust. The other ones were exhaust, inlet, inlet, exhaust, exhaust. So you had the two ports in the centre. Mm -hmm. This made a big difference to this engine. Made a really, really big difference, which is good. Okay, next step. Push rods. Dip, dip. Okay, happy fat. That's a bit too much, isn't it? Put that a little bit there. Uh -huh. Too much is not good either, you know that? Yeah, it's a bit smoky. No, 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 it blocks the, 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 block the, the filter really, really bad. Oh. Yeah, no, we don't want that. No. Okay. We're just about done on this one. Okay. Firing order. Can you lift this? Number yep. one, two. It's rocky now, right there. Here. I'd have some clearance here. See the clearance from the bottom of that? Yep. If it's just about past it, like have a, the, have a look at the push rod. Does it push the lifter down a bit? That's what you want to see. That's it. That's our 355 stroker. Mold engine with a D bolt piston. An LT1 stock uh, spring. High volume pump, double row timing chain kit, basic, cheap horsepower, very good. You'll have good fun in this and it'll be very reliable. Drive anywhere you want. Take it easy. See you, Mick. See you, man.